Welcome to the Friday Sugar Support Call. This recording is actually a re-recording because the event did not get recorded. So it might be quicker. So here's the summary. Password resets. Finding the Navigating the Flow videos on Echo's YouTube channel. And any questions and answers. When you do a password reset, there there's um, a different different styles of it. Uh, sometimes people forget their password, or just can't find it, so um, they use this function, the forgot password. When you're already logged in to either Sugar or EC Connect, you can reset or customize your own password. And a uh, quality improvement navigator can reset a provider's EC Connect password. So all those are covered in password resets. Uh, just some general rules. Have Outlook open because you want to be able to uh, get your uh, reset email from the password reset uh, engine or server, whatever it is that uh, sends you the resets. So be, be ready to receive the email or whatever. It doesn't have to be Outlook, but whichever one you use. Always use Chrome. It does matter because the other browsers don't work very uh, consistently with our web applications because they are designed and developed in Chrome. Um, be sure you check your emails. Um, we'll say a little bit more about that when the appropriate time comes. Always check your junk and spam folders and add support at echocolorado.org to your safe senders list because they're the ones who send, that's the address where your password address comes from. Okay, so let's go into um, a browser. Right here I have sugar. Let's go to it. So for this, let's just say that I forgot my password and I keep, I've already tried it multiple times and nothing's working. So I'm just going to click this link and, um, well, let's hold up sugar, EC connect, EC connect looks very similar. They're both orange logos and they both have the same style of logging box. This is sugar, EC connect. But look at the, the URL or whatever's in the um, address bar to determine where you are. See this says EC connect at EC connect dot equacolorado dot org and this is sugar dot equacolorado dot org. Okay, moving along. We're forgetting the password. We're resetting it by clicking this forgot password link. Okay, it immediately changes this little box to require your username, not your email, your username. Now here's your e email associated with the account. Request it. Look for a, a success message. Check your email. it is and there's the from EC connect and there's the subject line your you your sugar EC connect user information so I'm going to click that I'm going to copy the password and I'm going to reload this because see it's still asking for a request so reload that type in the username in the password, which is still in my clipboard, so I'm just going to paste it in as plain text so I don't bor borrow any formats for anywhere and log in. There we go. We're in sugar. Okay, so now that you're logged in, see how you can customize your password.
customize. So you go to your avatar if you don't have one. It's over in this location. Just click that, it's like profile. And uh, over here you have all your user information. If you scroll down you'll see a little more. And if you navigate on these tabs, you see lots of user information. But nothing about passwords until you click this edit button. Watch here. We have a brand new password tab. So I'm going to click that and go by these rules. It has to have one uppercase, one lowercase, a number, and minimum length in six. Okay, so my current password is probably still in there. Clipboard, so I'll just do that. And now I'm going to customize it to Friday 1. Right? Friday 1 has, did you notice that I got all four check marks? Because Friday starts with a capital. It has this lowercase one is the number, and it's more than six digits long. So just make sure it matches, and then save it. Okay, you get this update here, saying from Sugar, saying that you changed it, and then again this hammer-shaped icon puts out another message where Chrome has saved your password. However, look at this. It's got an email address and an encrypted password. So don't hit never and don't hit save because that will save an incorrect user ID as your, um, well, it's the correct credentials, but you remember in Sugar, your username is JTest, right? In this here. For me, it's JTest, but it's your first name and your last first initial and your last name, not an email address. That's EC Connect. EC Connect has an email address, so don't save it. Okay, But what you can do is log out, log right back in with Friday 1, and now watch what Chrome does. It picks up your both your username and your encrypted password, so now you want to save it then. Okay, and then you can check that it's saved by going to settings, scrolling way down to advanced, to passwords, manage passwords, and there it is. Right? And if I ever want to see this, what I do is I And you can view this password if you type in your Windows login. So like when you boot your computer, it's that password. Okay, I'm not going to do that now because I just know that it is. Okay, but that's where it is. And it's fairly intuitive once you know where to go. It's these three buttons. Settings. Scroll all the way down to advanced. Scroll some more to manage passwords. And then be sure you click those three things to view the details. All right. Okay, so where were we? We just customized our password for sugar. We saved it to the browser. Okay, let's go to EC Connect. Let's say I forgot my password here. I'm going to do the exact same thing. Click the button, type in my email. For convenience sake, it's already there. Submit it. Look to my Outlook or whatever email program I use. Should come in any second. This is not the right, there it is, Ecla Portal. Right? Password has been reset. Double click. Copy the um, auto-generated one. And then go back. Well, you could click this, but I have multiple browsers open, and I'm not sure which one it's going to go to, but I want it to be in this one, so I'm just going to click Reset That. Okay, so, go to my email. Oh, it 
that's not jquest. My email is that one. And my password is still in my clipboard, so I just paste it in there and log in. Okay, so again, Chrome is saving my password if I click save, but I don't want to because, see, it says reset your password, so EC Connect is automatically forcing me to customize it because it doesn't like that awful one that it auto-generated. It's hard to remember, so X that. Customize it. I'm going to use Friday 1 again. Or actually, why don't I use password123. P is capital, so it obeys the rules that I showed you in Sugar. Capital P A S S W A R D one two three, capital lowercase number, minimum six digits. Reset. Watch for the customization over here, so that Google can save it. There, there it is. Okay, it might not have recognized that as a password. There you go. You're in. You've customized. And um, I wouldn't force yourself to use these customization, these um, password saves if you have a better system. But that's just one way of doing it. Okay, now uh, a quality improvement navigator can also reset provider's EC Connect password, and they do it like this. So in Sugar, right, this is who I am, right? For my, my credentials, you see that I am a, it says somewhere that I'm a QI navigator here. All right, so let's go to the accounts module, okay, because you as the navigator will be in there and looking at uh, accounts. So let's go to, how about, just a random one. What we're looking for is making sure that it has a, a contact. So some, a lot of these things will be more obvious to you when you're in your QI Navigator role. But um, for the sake of presentation, I have um, just random, randomly chosen user accounts. But you'll have a specific one that actually needs the function. So, OK, so we see that in, in this panel here, the key contacts, we have a primary contact. So that person they're opening their link, is most likely the one who requested the password be sent for their site. Go in there. And here, in the, not the overview tab, but the portal information tab, that's the password for EC Connect. So all you do to change it is, um, well, this isn't really a password because it's encrypted, but you just type in. something that obeys the rules and is easy and they can use and you can say to them and then click save. I won't do it now because I don't want the consequences of changing somebody's password who's not expecting it. But that's how you do it. Okay. Incidentally, um, back in the uh, account, sometimes people will, will think that this um, general account email is the same as the primary contact. And if this is populated, it might show up as in, in as many places as you care to think. But this one is actually associated with EC Connect. So be sure that there's a value here and here 
because you put in the name here and then sugar automatically fills in the space. All right, so resetting the password is in the contacts, it's the portal information, erase that, save it. Okay, and then this situation where a uh, navigator <coughs> is helping ABC123 child care and has this director who normally uses her own email but forgot that she's using the previous director's login, which started as director, but it was the same. So that's just one of the situations that we encounter a lot. And um, it's a really easy fix if you already have your password and you're just in, uh, typing in uh, you know, the new one versus the old one and it's not working. So just be sure that you're using the, cor the correct address or the one that's associated with um, EC Connect, which is in the primary contacts field. Okay, Use the contacts record. And you remember that Sugar's login is a username with the first initial, last name, and EC Connect's login is an email. Okay, all these links will take you in some way to our um, channel on YouTube. So I'm gonna do this one here. I'm gonna copy it and paste it in my browser. And we, what we have here is the Echo support uh, page. Scroll all the way to the bottom. And there it is, navigating the flow. This first link here takes you to all the sessions. And each one of these takes you to an individual one. But it looks like some of the links aren't active. So since this one is, it's definitely got all of them because it's the the leader, but there's 25 videos, and that's how you get them. Or alternatively, you could just randomly type in YouTube in your browser, go to it, and then search an appropriate word, and you can find it that way. Okay, that's all I have for today. So thanks for attending. Talk to you next week.